Well, some great news uh, at Melbourne Football Club today with the appointment of Mark Neild. And uh, Mark, congratulations on the appointment. You're the uh, 27th person to coach Melbourne Football Club uh, since Alex Hall was the first coach in 1907. Uh, what does it mean to be a senior coach? Uh, look, to be a senior coach for me is something that I've been working towards for a long time and have coached at a number of different levels and have built up a breadth of experience. Uh, to, to coach the Melbourne Football Club uh, means a lot. Uh, you've just touched on the history and when you think there's only been 27 people sit in the chair that I'm sitting in, uh, need to make sure that there's a fair bit of respect shown to the people that have gone before. Uh, and given the current state of where the, where the club is, in particular the playing group, it's going to be an exciting journey. Yeah. And there, there's a lot of a lot of talent within the group, a lot of hard work to be done, and we're going to roll our sleeves up and get the hard work done immediately. Yeah. Played 74 games for Richmond and uh, Geelong combined, uh, and have been a coach since 1997. It's a, it's a long period, but a, a fine sort of apprenticeship. You've, you've sort of coached VCFL clubs, TAC Cup, assistant coach at a premiership club. Um, pretty much you've done it all in the apprenticeship. Uh, How's the journey been for you? Uh, the journey's been fantastic. It, all little components of it have been a great life experience. And yeah, when you say it in those terms, 15 years is a fair apprenticeship. Yeah. <laughs> Not too many uh, jobs require a 15-year apprenticeship, but it's important that you know, the skills are being built up over that time and in different environments and have met a lot of different people, had a lot of different experience experiences and have learned a lot and uh, are now ready to uh, sit in the driver's seat and, and control the playing side of it. Yeah, I guess this year um, you've been talked up as, as a potential senior coach and Mick Mulhouse, of course, mentioned that during the year. Um, more recently, you've been linked to Melbourne and Adelaide and the Bulldogs. What, what's the past few weeks been like, having been linked with several clubs and to actually now land the job? Yeah, on a personal level, again, it, it's just been a, a really good uh, life experience. Uh, I've met uh, a number, number of new people, uh, a lot of footy people. I've discussed a lot of football issues and things like that. So from that point of view, it's been enjoyable. And, but right now, you know, all, all the hard work, not just the last three weeks for me a, as a football coach, you know, it's got me to a position to uh, be a senior coach at Melbourne and uh, I'm really excited and uh, can't wait just to get started. Yeah. What are we going to expect from you as a, uh, as a coach? What, what will your style uh, be? Yeah, my style, look, uh, from day, day, day one, uh, I'll certainly respect uh, the ability that's in the group and the hard work that's already been done by the people that have gone before me. Uh, I've got my own beliefs in the way that the game should be played and, and the manner in which it should be played. Uh, I'll be very honest and I'll be very direct and the, uh, the players will get to know that very quickly, that there's a certain level of commitment and a certain style of play that each one of them will have to, have to abide by. And, uh, They'll be worked hard, uh, but they're going to learn a lot. And have you spoken to any of the players yet? I haven't spoken to any of the players yet, but I've already had uh, a number of text messages this morning and a couple last night. And uh, in a situation like this, you, you could appreciate that my phone's in meltdown. Yeah. And uh, it, it's quite difficult to reply to all the text messages just as yet. But that will happen uh, sooner rather than later. Yeah. Can you give a, a snapshot of what the say, the last 24 to 48 hours has been like? And have you had any sleep, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, I got, got some sleep in last night, which, uh, which I'm thankful for. Uh, I suppose the easiest way to sum it up was, uh, you know, it's midday now. So 24 hours ago, I, I was standing in the middle of Gosh's, pack, Gosh's paddock uh, as part of a Collingwood midfield training drill. Yep. And 24 hours later, I'm now sitting here to you yep. as the Melbourne senior coach. So it's been a quick ride, it's been hectic. Uh, there's been uh, probably more phone calls made from my phone in the last 24 hours than what there has been for almost the last probably six months. Um, but fantastic and another part to add to the experience. Yeah. And what, what's, the, um, what's going to happen to you? Are you going to be part of Collingwood's uh, plans for the rest of the season or immediately come to Melbourne? No, uh, I won't be part of Collingwood a anymore. Uh, that ceased yesterday. I'm yeah. now the senior coach in Melbourne yeah. and uh, that's impractical. Uh, to be involved with another football club. So you know, I'd like to wish Collingwood, uh, Mick Malthouse uh, and the players all the best and Eddie McGuire and the administration component of the club all the best for the rest of the final series. 
Uh, I am now the Melbourne senior coach and uh, I started here probably six o'clock last night. Yeah. Premierships you've tasted, four, four with uh, Ocean Grove in four seasons and also um, uh, with Collingwood last year. Um, two levels but you've tasted them. Uh, what, what's Premierships success like? It's an outstanding feeling. Uh, it vindicates a lot of hard work. It vindicates a lot of theories and uh, you know tactics and things like that. And, uh, that's at the end of the day. That's why supporters come through the gate to see their team strive to win a premiership. It's why players play and it's why coaches coach. And uh, that's what we're here to do. What are you looking forward to most as senior coach of Melbourne? Being a part of the club. Uh, so I can talk from my experience, and albeit short, the people I've met so far uh, have shown really overtly probably three things to me, and it was a, a unity amongst all the different people, uh, a commitment just to play their role, and a passion for the footy club. I'm looking forward to being a part and investing emotionally in that and investing intellectually in that and just getting to work. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done, and uh, I just want to get it started. Just finally, what's something we don't know about you? Uh, you'll have to wait and see. Okay. Mm. And one more, what music do you like? Yeah, I have three daughters, uh, aged 20, 17 and 15. Uh, so my music tastes, uh, oh, maybe not my, yeah, the music I listen to uh, is basically controlled by those three girls, of which I probably couldn't tell you who sings it or what the song is called. I, I tend to know little bits and pieces of lots of different songs. <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. Okay. Mark, it's great chatting with you. We're up to see you as the uh, new Melbourne Football Club coach and wish you all the uh, success in the three years and hopefully beyond. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks, Mark.